Hello everyone, how's it going? Henry here, and welcome back to another exciting tutorial, if you call them modems exciting. So if you remember my last tutorial on the AWWS weather website, you would go on here, you would put in your station identifier, click here and press enter. But if you do that now in 2022, you will get this little line basically saying Nav Canada has a new website, which is 100% true. They have switched to the international ICAO format, which means you have to go to the new website that looks like this. Look at that. So shiny. Same website that you can do your flight plans on now, which is nice. Everything's all in one place. And instead of having the big uh, selection screen with all your different weather and stuff, you put in your stations now and you have all your little uh, GFAs and your turb charts and things like that. So if you're doing flight planning, this they're kind of moving towards this, but I kind of like the other site for GFAs and stuff. So anyways, more back to our video today on how to read the new uh, NOTAM uh, for the uh, ICAO format. So first off, first in the field, you put your station. So let's use Toronto Pearson as an example. You come down here to NOTAM, boop, you click that. Uh, you can say English, French, or both. I am Je suis Anglais, so we will just do English and press search. Look at that. We got a whole whack load of NOTAMs rocking on because it's Pearson. It's Canada's largest airport, which sometimes is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, let's find a good example here that we, ah, here we go. A mobile crane. So you have a selection here. So a NOTAM, what it is, you have CYYZ, you have Toronto, uh, Pearson International. Uh, you basically just have a NOTAM identifier. So kind of like a serial number. And then we notice we have these different fields now. So we have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, echo and sometimes delta whatever so let's just use this crane one as an example and then we'll, we'll talk about how to read other ones so a is the station identifier so obviously we put in toronto pearson cyyz and it basically says which station uh this node belongs to b is the starting time and c is the ending time uh both in zulu so how to read this is that it's year year month month day day and then your hour hour minute minute so again so uh the 22 stands for 2022 zero one if i can highlight it here stands for well first month so january and that's 12th so the 12th day of january at midnight zulu because again 24 hour time so zero 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 is midnight zulu so again these are all in uh, zulu time unless otherwise said uh, to uh, 2022, the 4th, so again, January, February, March, April, so April uh, 10th at 18 EST, estimated, so right, so estimated time, uh, so this can be uh, updated uh, quite possibly uh, if it still hasn't finished its construction, because of course our next category uh, for this one is mobile crane within so it's just kind of like before. So you have your no mobile crane, where it is, what's doing, um, if it's lit, if it's not lit, things like that, and not painted, whatever. So uh, it's basically your explanation, all right? So if we can find another one, we can just uh, talk about a little bit better detail here. Okay, so I opened up the AIM, so the Aeronautical Information Manual, uh, and it basically has a nice explanation of the new NOTAM format. So basically, the new website kind of decodes this for you, so you don't really kind of have to know the first uh, few items here. But we're going to be looking at this because it has all the major categories. So again, you have uh, CYUL, so Montreal, and then you have Ottawa, the time, D. D stands, if we go up here, is, is this a schedule. So again, if it's like a certain daily thing, so example for this uh, NDB unserviceable, it's daily between 12.30 and uh, 20 hundred hours Zulu, all right? Um, that's why our crane one didn't have a D category because it was just all the time. So, um, and then of course for this one, it's Ottawa, the NDB is unserviceable. All right, cool. And then sometimes you get things like a forest fire or something where it's just like, you have your lower vertical limit and then upper vertical limit. So again, with this NOTAM, we have surface SFC to around 4,700 feet um, above mean scene level. So there you go. And again, we'll just find one more example here, uh, just kind of picking out, seeing if we can uh, find a good one that 
we can kind of look at. So again, like Toronto, we have our start time and end time. So again, uh, 2021, uh, so last year on the 10th month. So of course that is October 29th, 1723 Zulu, ending approx, uh, we're looking at this year, first month, 27th day at 1700 Zulu. And uh, again, we don't have any uh, other categories, just the description. Aircraft unable to depart runway 05 from tower, sorry, pardon me, from taxiway hotel 6, shall advise clearance delivery on initial contact. Um, Again, the, ni the nice thing about the new NOTAM format is that it's it's pretty much straightforward and they're all kind of like in the exact same format, right? Another thing is I could always talk about runway condition report. So if it's like 665 or 565 or just 444, that's another topic I can talk on. Let me know if you guys want me to talk about it because there's a new system out in 2022. Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically all that you really have to know. So again, you just put your station in so it could be like CYOW for Ottawa. Poop that, you search it, and then boom, you're going to get your new notums and stuff like that too. Um, if you are using this for flying, again, this is more of a tutorial, not, you know, I'm not a CFI or anything. Um, a big thing is sometimes the show duplicates option is on. I usually turn that off because if it is for multiple stations, it would say it within this little category here. So it would say, let's see if we can find that actually, because yeah, like... um. And yeah, so for example here, so if it's multiple now, uh, I would just say it showed you duplicates off because if a NOTAM accounts, like the international like NOTAMs account for more than one station, it kind of says it in here. Um, also, another uh, little tip for the new system is that make sure you actually select it in this box because if you say like CYV, uh, I don't know, Wireton, for example, uh, and you just type it like that, Sometimes it doesn't register, so make sure you tap it or actually like select the drop down like that for Coral Harbor and then search because sometimes the site can be finicky. But yeah, that is the new NOTAM format. Um, as always, uh, always consult like the AIM and official sources instead of just watching a YouTube video. But that's basically how you read the new system. Um, have a great day, everyone. Fly safe. And as always, happy landings. See you next time.